Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, where we should maybe say this because we don't say it very often. We dye yarn, we make bags, we sell fabric, um, and we are the Crafty Toads. We have been very busy being crafty this morning, doing things for tomorrow's release. Yes. So we're getting very excited about it. I hope you guys are. Well, I know you guys are because I'm, I'm seeing your comments. <laughs> Also, I have to say, I didn't think anybody was going to guess it, but somebody did. <laughs> somebody guessed. And so now we have to release it early because they got it. Somebody actually got it. Didn't think this was going to happen in a million years, but he, he guessed it. Medieval medical maladies. He can't wait to see what we're doing with dysentery. So... Dog star knits, you win. <laughs> Not at all. That was dripping <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> but I love your guest. Thank you so much. <laughs> you made me laugh so hard. Anyway, um, so tomorrow, big reveal. We're very excited. And um, we've been putting together all bits and pieces yeah. for it. So noon Eastern time. Uh, Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, uh, live on YouTube. Yes. So if you guys uh, subscribe to us and you have um, clicked the bell to get notifications, you will be notified when we go live. Um, otherwise, you're going to kind of have to find it. Just go onto YouTube and our channel at uh, noon. So, okay. We will try and be on time. Yes. <laughs> However, we don't hold up much help. We've been getting better. Yes. We've definitely been getting better. Okay. Um, so today we were supposed to talk about books, but I didn't finish my book and I'm almost done. So we're going to hold off and do that next week. And we figured we haven't done a nailed it or failed it for quite a while. So we thought, well, do a nailed it, failed it for you. Yeah. And you can see what we, one of the things that we did today. Um, so we took this idea from Escape to the Chateau Angela did it. She printed um, onto the slick side of um, the label ma the label paper. So if you guys get stickers or that kind of thing and you peel the sticker off, that slick side that the sticker is stuck yeah. to, that's what you print on. Wax paper will do the same thing. It's just anything that's got that kind of shiny surface that's uh, not going to absorb the ink. That the ink will just sit on top. Right. And then what you do is you transfer it to, a well, what she did was transferred it to a piece of wood. And we thought, oh, my God, that's so cool. And I have to say, with, you know, the magic of television, it made it look like she did it once and it worked perfectly. Maybe she did. Maybe she just is that kind of person. Yeah. We are not. It did not take one time. We do not have the magic of television and we will show you. Yes. <laughs> so what we did was we filmed ourselves doing this. Right. And this is what we decided to print and try and put onto wood. So that's what we did. Okay. And Helen is going to put in exactly, well, she's going to put in right here, right? What we did? Uh, yeah. Cause, um, we got the wood. Um, there's construction all over the place around us. So we were walking the dogs last night. We walked by a dumpster. There was wood in it. <laughs> so we took it. We uh, liberated a piece. Yes. Um, so we say, we'll, we're showing you, we'll show you, we sanded it down, got the sides all smooth, um, and then we transferred it on and we will show you here. First step is to sand the wood. We have now tried it twice, going for the third time. Here we go.
All right. Okay, so what you didn't see was the first time didn't work and we took it off and sanded it down and started over again because you can do that. Yeah. And this is our final product. So we knew it was going to be a more distressed uh, look, that it wasn't going to be an exact transfer. Right. Um, and I must say, putting the Mod Podge on made a huge difference. Right. Because when we first did huge. it, um, and I'll insert a picture of it before we Mod, po mod Podged it. Um, the colors were not quite as bright. But once we put the Mod Podge on, then it, it really brightened up the colors, especially the green of the dragon. And you can see the outline of the polar bear so much better. Yeah. Because she uh, kind of blended in yeah. to the background. So the Mod Podge, as, I mean, it acts as a sealer on the ink and then also just enhances everything. So This um, is really, really cool. Yeah, it is. It's not, you know, um, perfect, but it's really... I mean, it's really kind of neat. Yeah, especially after our first effort. Right. And our first effort, part of the problem was we were using a faded-ish coloring. Right. So um, if you're going to do it, go I bright. strongly recommend brighter colors and more saturated colors. Because the more obviously the more ink you have, the better chance you have of getting it all transferred. Um, the idea is not once you put your... You have to make sure you uh, flip your image because it's going to go mirror image down. Um... And once you put it on the wood, don't move it. Even if it's in the wrong spot, you're going to smudge everything because that's live ink that you've got going. Right. right. So the other thing that we figured out was um, we think this is kind of hardwood because they're using it for construction. So it's probably not as porous as some of the other woods. So that if you use a more porous wood, it may take the ink right. better and sink it down a little bit so it might be a little bit brighter. So we're going to try it again on a different piece of wood and see what happens. But I love the way this looks. Yeah. I really do. And I think if you just have this, you know, just standing on a shelf somewhere or on yeah. a mantle or something like that, and it's just, it's one of those things that you're walking by and you're like, wait a minute, what is that? Yeah, right. Is that a you dragon know? having that, tea? Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cool. So for right now, I'm just going to put it right here behind Helen's head there you go look Inside at that big brain yeah so. and uh, it just makes an interesting bit it's like yeah. it's one of those I don't know if you remember going to auntie's apartment oh yeah she had my this great aunt, great aunt my great aunt had uh she lived by herself she had the greatest apartment and she lived there for I mean her entire adult life yeah so she had had time to accumulate but she had really interesting things and it's it was like going through a curiosity shop you know where you'd find all these little different yeah. things like banks that the were the metal banks that was like the um the the baseball player so that oh yeah you you put the he, he would pitch the penny to the catcher and it right. would go into the bank and it would go into the catcher's mitt and go into the bank or she had um banks that were the little slot machines that or the old-fashioned registers, registers yeah. that you would and it would count the money as you went in or she had clocks everywhere or the little figure i loved going there because there was always something and they all had stories um and I see this as being, yeah. you know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, wait, what is that? Yeah. And there's a story behind it. Exactly. So we're going to do more of them. So we're going to we're going to call it a nailed it. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a nailed it. Yeah. All right. Let us know what you think. We um, hope you have a great rest of the day. Yes. Go forth and create. Make a wooden print. Yes. And we will see you tomorrow at noon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.